Hello and welcome to the 25 days of Christmas. This is day 21. And today we are going to look at Silent Night. And our passage is Luke 2, 17 to 19. And when they saw it, they made known the saying that had been told to them concerning this child. And all who heard it wondered at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured up all these things, pondering them in her heart. Luke 2, 17 to 19. So today we look at one of the favorite carols for most people, or for a lot of people, is Silent Night. And this song, it was written by Joseph Moore. Joseph Moore, he grew up in uh, Salzburg in Germany and had a pretty rough uh, rough childhood, but eventually he went to the seminary and was ordained and then was sent to Obendorf, uh, which was just a little bit north of Salzburg. And there he met a man whose name was Franz Xavier Gruber, who was a teacher, but also uh, started to play the organ at the church where, uh, where Moore was serving as a priest. And so one Christmas, Moore needed a Christmas carol for his Christmas Eve service. And so he pulled out this poem that he had written a couple years before, ran over to, uh, to Gruber's place. And this was Christmas Eve. Uh, he ran over to Gruber's place and said, I need a Christmas carol. And so Gruber put together uh, the arrangement for this song. And one of the interesting little facts is that their organ had been damaged by floods. And so uh, they didn't have an organ. So he arranged this song for guitar, which was a pretty unusual thing for the carols that we're looking at. So this, this carol was originally arranged for guitar. And of course, it is uh, about that wonderful silent night when Jesus was born. One of the other uh, interesting things about this carol was uh, in its popularity. I mean, it spread around Europe and, and over to the Americas very quickly. It was immediately popular. And so most people know this carol and have known this carol. And uh, you may have heard this before, but back in 1914 in World War I, uh, German and British soldiers began having widespread uh, unofficial ceasefires. They would, they would stop fighting in the war and the soldiers would cross the trenches and exchange gifts. They would give food or tobacco or alcohol or souvenirs and, and different types of things, uh, mementos to each other. Uh, the Germans, they would place candles in their trenches and they sang carols, including of course, this one, Silent Night. Um, and of course, then the British responded with singing carols as well. And so it's amazing to see how literally this song and others like it, the Christmas and Jesus stopped a war in its tracks. Um, now, unfortunately, the fighting would continue afterwards. Uh, I kind of wish it could have, it could have, you know, worked it out there. But it's amazing to see that that kind of effect that Christmas can have on people. And you know, the Christmas season is known for its, its busyness, isn't it? You're, you're running around with all kinds of things to do. There's parties to go to, concerts to go see, pageants to be in. Um, there's all kinds of things that we do. We go shopping, we go see Santa, lots of things, right? But every now and then, maybe more often than we do, it's good to just take some time, maybe, maybe in a night, and to slow down and to be still and to have that silent moment or moments to ponder what really happened on Christmas, to ponder that holy night when Christ was born, when the angels sang and the, the shepherds rejoiced and when Mary pondered all these things that she saw happening, all the things that had been told to her, all the things from the angel and from the shepherds, it's good to have those silent nights when we can just reflect, when we can be still and know that God is God and just be in his presence and remember 
Jesus is really what this is about. And that Savior, born on that night, in the stillness of Bethlehem, who's still our Savior today. Amen? Amen. All right. I will see you tomorrow. We're getting close.